पाप नाथ जुबा जुबा प्रॉब्लम रोजेस यू हैंगिंग द जस्ट वॉश्ड क्लोज इन द स्ट्रिंजेंट सन द हॉली हॉक साइ देर डीप साइज एस दे लीन देर हेवी स्टेम्स अगेंस्ट द वॉल द फर्स्ट लैवेंडर आइरिस हैज कम एंड गॉन द रशियन सेज इज सनिंग इट्स सेल्फ The wild roses multiply, base and prickly. Their bunched pink faces exhale a perfume to make you giddy as you flip the wet sheets over the rope line you strung from fence to tree. The birds are almost speaking. You are happy, Juba. Juba, a city in southern Sudan on the White Nile River. Formerly in the American South, a lively rustic dance with much clapping and thigh slapping, the word juba repeated as a refrain. Happiness. Happiness. An elaborate flounce. Lacy, twirl, swirl, soft, plated, spin, spiral, pine design of overlap, the golden moon. I mean, I part the leaves of the flower, lift one, then another, then another to find the seam, flotsam of my dreams, Juba, Juba, and there she is, the girl running to me, her face of chaste petals tearing, her pure girl Mons Venus bomb napalm photo run. I am strung between Juba. And sorrow song. Juba, a city on the White Nile River in America South, dance with much hand clapping, thigh slapping. Juba repeated, happiness, happiness. The brazen sun revolving, stroking and spilling over me and the wide-mouthed poppies. The buzz hum iridescence of bird whirling. What rises here? I can hardly name. How is it possible? This Juba. No, Nam Qua, Nam Qua. Her Vietnamese girl clicks. Too hot, too hot. No, I say back. I love the sun. Nam Qua, Nam Qua. She moans. I turn. I can't turn away. She is here in my garden. How will I turn back, Nanqua? How to my Juba again? Juba, Sudan, White Nile, dance, clap, Juba, repeat, happiness. Nanqua was the words she used when she finally reached the soldiers. She said to them, "Too hot, too hot." The next poem is um, a, a found poem, um, which means that um, I got all the language from it from um, interviews with 50 Iraq veterans who uh, were interviewed. Um, for the Nation magazine, and this is all from transcripts. And the poem is called Letter Damaged in Transit, and I want you to sort of imagine this crumpled, torn, scraped out letter, um, uh, all wrinkled and everything. It looks sort of like this in the book, and um, it is in the book itself, it is kind of, uh, you know, run through and, and like that. Letter Letter damaged in transit. Dear Dad, I want to write to you before I camp this up. You what I've done here in Iraq, and then yesterday another soldier in my squad took sp 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 spoon brains left dead Iraqi. There's a foot arm around the 
it was in Samara, his family, his brat and father witness. We roached one house in farming area, Masul, I think, maybe family, dog, so much blood, three child, dad, so, so, so not what I thought. Midnight ruts on Qatar, Samara, Baghdad, Masul, Tirak, I can't any more to 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 shreds. Here's how we do it. You run in and if there's one rifle team outside, grab man of house, sofa, escaped, hundred and ten degrees. I mean farm out skirts of Tirak. Wake him up, wake him up, screams, not what I joined to do. A few kids and old men can't dad peeing on themselves. Rules of engage, men do pressure, head split, open, open, body bags, debts, crypting, abu, great daddy, you don't, what if, no, if, who, enemy. This poem is uh, titled Pieta, Pieta, and um, it has three sources. Um, the first is Michelangelo's statue of the, the mother and her grown son, the young mother and her grown son lying across her lap. Um, it has always moved me ever since I've been a child. The second one was um, I did, uh, I would say, two years of research um, to write the book. And um, one of one day I was on the web and I was looking up how a bullet goes through a gun, like what's the mechanism, how does it get its velocity, all of that kind of, since I didn't know. And I came upon a site, as it often happens, um, and this site was for the VA hospital. And I just opened it up and there were these pictures, of uh, these photographs of soldiers who had come back uh, with an arm, a leg missing, um, studies about the prosthesis, how much it cost, and like that. And then at the same time, I got an email from a friend describing a literary conference on beauty. And these three sources sort of came together for me in this poem. Pieta. What of the farm mother her soldier son shattered. She hides her shuddering inside the closet, rubs the coat and boots he'll never need again, his body of cut off stems. Before in his child life sleep, his legs flung open, sometimes she couldn't even look, he was so beautiful. Although she didn't have then, and doesn't have now, the word. She speared through that smell in his room, his blind left eye. Three limbs sawed away, his shit staining the white sheets. The Walmart sheets, she buys and buys. You see, he had been so crisp, so cut line, so formal in the uniform, as if he had been pressed somehow inside, and her, with her deep knowledge of ironing, of pressing herself, had recognized it in him, you know, and saw beauty in it, yes, in the sharp crease, it was clean and clear, that work of hands, the message that work carried, that someone had done this for him. She rolls him on his side and removes four times daily the sheets from his bed, daily, brushes her fingers against his white t-shirt lightly, its short arms flap, there is nothing to hold. Finding muscle there in his still strong back and the back of his head, 
that little scar from the day he fell off the tractor, when she thought, yes, yes, I could kill, I could kill his father, yes, for this, oh. Her memory is a sharpened thing. Where, where are his arms and his leg? She wants to lift him. She wants to smother him. She wants to finger all the edges of his wounds. She wants him back. She wants him to die. All her words, the ones she could say on some spring day, the sun's out, the rye is up, stuck somewhere below the solar plexus of her. Those beauty words, sun, grass, rain, horse, earth, gone. Only he remains. can be difficult for some people. Um, sorry. Um, and the final song is, um, a, a, the title is Rain Song, and Rain Song is a, the title of a very famous um, um, poem written by an Iraqi poet, El Sayyab. And it's famous throughout the Middle East and through the, you know, in Arab literature. And many Arab American um, writers also refer to it or use it in their poems. So I felt like um, I wanted to do something to bind us, I guess. Um, but it's a New York poem and um, it has a bit of redemption at the end. Rain Song. It's raining thick, gray, New York rain, rain that fills the gutters, that soaks my coat, seeps down the back of my neck, and when I finally climb on the bus, the rain is steam rising off my shoulders. The bus driver has his hands on the large wheel, is urging the huge animal of the bus forward, is stroking the wheel, whispering or praying as we make our way through the pouring, the hunk and screech of traffic muted. We are all swaying in the steamy bus. The light begins its change from red to green. Look at the passengers. Our faces are beginning to blur as if there is a crying rising in us, as if we are being filled with rain. Rain is tapping on our organs, is filling the crevices of our lungs, liver, heart, heads, and our craniums, the eight bones of the wrist, our particular fingernails. The rain outside is carrying on, is almost wild, pouring itself into the world, wordless and troubled, and we we who are almost sheltered in this steam and fog and huffing bus, the earth in us is rising, as if the rain is wearing us down to humid dirt, as if we could begin again. Perhaps we could change, become someone else, empty our pockets, change our clothes, hair, the color of our skin, become a man or a woman, grow to childhood again, or age so quickly our bones would be made of light and we would glide down the rain-soaked streets, the gleam of rain still on the tar, on the huge billboards, the street lights surrounded with halo, night coming on, and the stars and moon would be bright and clean and pure and there would be no war and the hungry would be fed and the children loved as we would be loved. And oh, life is good and will be different, won't it, won't it, when we step off the bus in the rain. Thank you.